Sunday, October 1st, 107 p.m. New York time. Since we just completed the month of September, we'll look at the commodities and we'll look at the monthly candles, 10 year time frame. Commodities, very broad. You have several categories we're going to look at the energy, the metals, the agricultural livestock. First, we'll start at the energy. And I'm just going to go over the two major financial instruments in the energy sector, crude oil, natural gas. There are other ones, but these are the most traded ones. So crude oil, 10-year chart, each candle is a month. And look at crude oil. For the month, we made a higher, high, higher, low, new high for the year. So I need to move this up. We also took out that swing high from last year. Broke above it, but did not close above it. So let's move with that. And we tested this key supply zone. We're inside there right now. I got to accept we made a new high for the year. So I need to move this up. 95.03. Here's the low for the year right there. And here's the high for last year. So if you hear people tell you that we're at an all time high, they're wrong. Ask them to own up and identify where they're getting information because we're not the high of all time high. No, this is not even the all time high. This is the high of last year. Here we're looking at all the way back from 1983, 1983, all the way here on the left. And then here's the high during the past all these years, $147.27. See that? There's a high. That was all the way back from during the war, one of the early wars, 2008. Yep. And now you know more than most people. Again, kudo, the trend is up. Up strong, testing this key supply zone of sellers. So one would expect we might have some minor re retracement and then continue to this big number up here, 100. Let's look at the natural gas. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. And here's the high for last year. Yep. So what happened is for the month, see this yellow candle? That means the price didn't take out the high or low of the prior candle. It's an inside candle. It's telling us it's indecision. Doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Huge consolidation occurring here. Let's extend this out. Big difference than what occurring in crude oil. Crude oil, strong trend to the upside. Natural gas in a huge consolidation. And you can save money on your electricity bill if you choose to use sources that are more using natural gas versus crude oil, as well as for the energy for your car. If you're using crude oil, you could look for a vehicle that runs on natural gas, much less expensive. Yep, there's choices, there's businesses, there's places that offer you those choices. You may live in a community that doesn't. You may live in a state that doesn't care for your choice of energy sources because it maybe doesn't receive enough lobbyist money from your utility company, so it doesn't want to use its better source. And also natural gas is cleaner than crude oil. Natural gas is cleaner than coal. So now we're looking at the category of metals. Top left, gold. Top right, silver. Bottom left, platinum. And the bottom right, copper. They each have different base uses. Again, copper is used huge in industrial use. Silver is used in a lot of stuff, very broad, from technology to vehicle parts. Yep. Gold is used a lot in jewelry. So a lot of significant uses metals are have, not just for jewelry. So looking here for five years, on gold, five years, for the month, red, lower, low, lower, high. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. So again, acceleration broke below that, closed below that, extremely bearish, nice break. Let's put this on a 10 year. There we go on a 10 year. Huge consolidation occurring here. Here's a little last year. Let's look at silver. For the month of silver, inside candle. So it's not panic selling, it's selling off like gold, right? It's in a huge consolidation. Yellow candle didn't take up the higher low of the prior month. That's nice. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. Let's 
you the past 10 years. There you go for the past 10 years. Low last year, high last year. Now we'll look at palladium. High this year, low this year, huge consolidation. Let's put it for the past 10 years. It's the high of last year, here's the low of last year. So again, we're in a tight consolidation of the prior year, and obviously it was higher years ago and lower a few years ago. Copper, huge consolidation, high of this year, low of this year, low of last year, and the high of last year. So inside the range of last year. And consolidation, breakdown, consolidation, staircase battle, lower, low. So you see gold for this month at that big panic selling broke the result in low consolidation. There's more fear in that. First, silver is holding up strong. And sometimes you see silver lead the way before gold for bullish moves. Okay. Let's go into the other commodity category, agricultural and livestock. We'll look at the seeds first. Then we'll look at a 10 year chart, each candle's a month. We'll look at corn. Warren made a new low for the futures for the year. For the futures, huh? gold, gold futures made a new low for the year. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. Here's the high for last year. So gold, so corn, corn trending down. Corn has a lot of usage for human consumption, for animal consumption, for animal feed, and for ethanol. Yep, some people use sugarcane for ethanol. Some people use corn for ethanol. Huge usage. So as corn prices go lower, the embedded cost it has in those other products and services would go down. And typically as the dollar gets stronger, you have more buying power. Yep, benefits. So interesting here, that little tiny candle for the month of September, tiny little red candle, tiny little body, small wick on each side, dodge candle. This means often in the trend that that's either halfway point or getting ready to reverse. So if that's halfway, meaning that you might have a little retracement or a retracement somewhere and then a continuation downside, hmm, maybe it goes down in this consolidation. The point is that little candle is indecision. Be concerning. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna see the breakout. If it's gonna have momentum to the upside or downside. Good trade setup to look for take. Next, we'll look at wheat for the 10 years. There's the high of last year. For this year, there's the high of this year. And we're at a new low for this year. Nice for you people that like bread products. Hmm, you should be paying less for your flour now. New low for the year. Broke below this consolidation. Bears trade soon. Soybean. Soybean futures. Soybean commodities. Soybean seed. Here's the low for this year. Here's the high for this year. It's in a huge consolidation. Yeah, red for the month, lower, low, lower high. Here's the high of last year. Here's the low of 2021. So again, the momentum has been down. Very close to the low of the year. So again, the takeaway here is these commodities, the food commodities, agricultural, are near the lows of the year. Very nice. Now let's look at the livestock. Looking at live cattle, past 10 years, made a new high for the year, up strong. Look at that. High for the year, low for the year. Huge. This is a 10-year chart, and it's an all-time high. Why? Well, because the demand for the product is hitting record levels. Yep. More people are eating red meat. Or people have discretionary income to spread to spend on red meat. Remember, red meat, cattle, in most nations, cost more money than poultry, than pork, than fish, unless they're getting a high-end fish product. Again, it's an expensive product. By nature, it's an expensive product. More to feed, more to graze, more to transport, more labor intense. People are eating more of it. It's live cattle. Now looking at Feeder cattle, just like it says, feeder cattle is used for the purpose of feeding other animals. New high for the year also. So 10 years, record high here. Let's go put it on max. 
Okay. All time new high for the max of charting. And looking at the lean hog inside candle for the month, small trading range. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. That already labeled the prior month there midpoint and there. So very interesting, small trading range. That's a single. Very suspicious when you have small trading range. That's not panic selling. It might be accumulation or it might be resting till it continues going down. Be watching out for breakouts, potential trade out there. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.